Police arrested four people in Monmouth County, New Jersey, after a beach party got out of control this weekend. CBS 2's Meg Baker has more on how this mass gathering was coordinated on social media. Videos from Long Branch Saturday show people flooding the streets of Pier Village, a condo complex with restaurants and shops below, running back and forth, dancing, climbing on barriers, jumping on cars, and witnesses say some were fighting. There was like literally probably like 500 people here. It was like crazy. The Monmouth County Sheriff says that number grew to more than 1,000. It started out with a social media invite for a beach party, calling on people to come in by train or car. Police from neighboring towns and the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office were called in to assist. And I think there's a little bit of misconception that that means uh, open containers on the beach and smoking weed on the beach. And certainly our, our new uh, piece of uh, New Jersey state legislation would lead people to believe that uh, underage drinking and underage pot smoking is okay on our, our, on our Jersey Shore. It is not. Kayla Casale, the senior manager of McLoon's, says the restaurant had to lock its doors and cancel the rest of the evening's reservations. No one could get into Pier Village and no one could get out. They were jumping over the railings um, and we don't have our own security, unfortunately, so the managers were just trying to corral it and it did just kind of get a little out of control. Managers of the Robinson Ale House say patrons were so nervous they had to be escorted out the back door. Sheriff Golden says law enforcement agencies are constantly monitoring social media for flash mob type invites. We're ready to respond. There are rumors that organizers may try this again in July. We're hoping it will be uh, more contained the next time, if there is a next time. And the expectation is that our Jersey Shore uh, here in Monmouth County is family oriented, and that's the way we want to keep it. The majority of businesses here would not talk to us on camera, fearing they could be a target if this happens again. In Long Branch, New Jersey, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.